Hello, I'm JP Dominguez, and welcome to the latest in immigration, where we keep you informed about all the latest in immigration. I would like to first start off by announcing that temporary protected status has been extended for El Salvador for an additional 18 months. This extension is only for those that already have TPS for El Salvador. The last day to re-register to extend your status is July 29, 2013. For more information, I invite you to visit USCIS.gov. At this very moment, anti-immigrant ads are hitting the airwaves, and Pennsylvania is one of first of 18 states airing the 30-second ad, which is against creating work permits for foreign job seekers. This ad questions bringing in more foreign workers instead of fixing the problem of the millions of Americans in this country without jobs. To offer us more information today, we have immigration blogger Melissa Lambarina. Thank you so much for being with us today, Melissa. Thank you for having me. Melissa, would you argue that these ads can potentially gain anti-immigrant support? I would argue that they could, but they can gain as much support as pro-immigration reform campaigns uh, are doing at this very moment. That is why it's so important to get involved in this ongoing debate for immigration reform. One of the top issues right now uh, concerning uh, several legislators is what do we do about the problem of the millions of Americans that are in this country without jobs and why should we create uh, new jobs for foreign job seekers? And studies have actually shown that immigrants and native born workers don't compete for the same jobs. One of the studies actually noted by the US Chamber of Commerce that immigrants create jobs as taxpayers, consumers, and entrepreneurs. This ad that is hitting the airways right now uh, is against creating 33 million new work permits for foreign job seekers. But the truth is we need these workers. We have 77 million baby boomers that are soon to retire. And we need qualified individuals to help fill these positions or else our economy will be left vulnerable. Thank you, Melissa. Those are very good points, and I think it is our responsibility to stay informed about this ongoing debate that is soon to hit the Senate floor on June 10th. Yes, June 10th. This date was confirmed by the Gang of Eight member Senator Chuck Schumer on Meet the Press, who said he is optimistic that the bill will earn 70 votes. Melissa, do you think that 70 votes is a little overly optimistic? I would say it's cautious. We need 60 votes for the bill to pass in the Senate. And these legislators in the Gang of Eight, they know which legislators are for immigration reform or against immigration reform and who is on the border. And they are strategizing accordingly to make sure that they get those 70 votes. And hopefully the bill will pass in the Senate, at least with 60, maybe more, who knows. We can't be pessimistic, we can't be optimistic, we have to be realistic. We saw when the Senate Judiciary Committee voted 13 to 5 that there is still opposition for this bill. Yes, Melissa, and even if it passes the Senate, that does not mean that when the bill reaches the House that it's going to be completely the same, correct? Exactly. Just this Sunday, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlett emphasized a piecemeal approach for the bill meaning that he thinks it's more beneficial to break up the bill into several different other bills uh, for immigration reform. At this point, we don't know which direction the bill will take, but what we do know is that we can change that direction by getting involved in this debate. That's right. I find the most effective way to do this is by continuing to sign petitions and making our phone calls to each of our senators. It is so important to educate our friends and family and share our stories so that we can all come together to support immigration reform that protects especially the sanctity of family. On that topic, do you have an immigration story that you would like to share? Well, now you can. Organizations have come together to sponsor a student film competition called Short and Strong. Melissa, please tell us a little bit more about this. Definitely. This student film competition will allow students to share the stories of immigrants in their lives. Submissions will be judged by celebrities and activists such as Antonio Villarraigosa, Hilda Solis, Dolores Huerta, Rosario Dawson, just to name a few, and many more. The deadline for submission is August 16th, 2013. You can find out more information on shortandstrong.com. Good luck. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much for sharing all the great information and joining me today. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next week on the latest on immigration. Thank you. Hey guys, wait, 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 don't go anywhere. There's more videos for you to watch down here.